we begin by looking at the character of Leeds. Leeds has many striking Victorian buildings, often constructed in granite and stone. To the south of the city are substantial clay deposits, so red brick was the predominant building material for the extensive 19th century terraced housing, which we still see today. The city is full of reminders of its industrial past, including making machinery for spinning, machine tools, steam engines and gears, as well as industries based on textiles, chemicals, leather and pottery. Leeds has a strong sporting heritage. Many of the people in the city have a distinctive accent. Yorkshire dialect is noticeable, which has roots in Old English and is influenced by Old Norse. The people are also described as being very careful with money. It is said that centuries of exploitation by mill owners, textile bosses and other employers has meant that the workers had to learn to budget carefully to get by. The economy of Leeds is the most diverse economy of all the UK's main employment centres. Leeds has a history of world changing ideas, such as the science behind the discovery of DNA and the world's first movie. The city's innovations have had a positive impact around the world. We find national migration impacts upon the growth and character of Leeds. Many of the people in Leeds have a distinctive accent. Yorkshire people are often stereotyped as being friendly but stubborn and argumentative. Yorkshire people are described as being very careful with money. These characteristics have been reinforced and developed over time as migrants have arrived. The Industrial Revolution resulted in the radical growth of Leeds. People were attracted into the city for work from other parts of Yorkshire and further afield in the UK. Mills were built by rich people in Leeds who were joined by other businessmen from other parts of the UK, such as Huddersfield and London. The new industries attracted thousands of people to move to the city. The Leeds building styles of the past were guided by a demand for quickly built and affordable housing. Thousands of red brick terraced houses were built to offer homes to the migrant workers and many of them still exist. They are a recognisable feature of the city. Most migration is still between Leeds and the rest of Yorkshire. International migration also impacts upon the growth and character of Leeds. In the distant past, the culture of Yorkshire has been influenced by those who came to control the region, including the Celts, Romans, Angles, Vikings and Normans. In more recent times, Montague Burton and Michael Marx are examples of international migrants that moved to Leeds and assisted in its growth. Burton in the development of the clothing industry and Marx setting up Marx and Spencers. Leeds has a history of innovation and enhancing new ideas. It is fortunate to have a wide range of industries. There have been significant contributions from Jewish, Irish, West Indian, Eastern European and South Asian migrants to the growth and character of Leeds. The annual West Indian Carnival in Leeds is just one example and it is now a multicultural city with many different international influences on display. However, there can be challenges for migrants to integrate into the wider community. There may be tensions within and between migrant groups. For example, the Chapel Town riots of 1981 took place in Leeds during a time when many other areas of the UK were suffering similar problems. The riots unfolded from a background of racial tension. In some areas of the city, it might seem to be dominated by the new people. Migrants live near each other for support. However, international links continue to develop and migrants continue to be drawn to work and study in Leeds.